Yo guys and welcome to this new video on Grey Zone Warfare and right now we are going to do another solo clear of a location. Um, I just landed on Lima 2 and we are going to clear out the YBL bunker. For this I brought this setup, two 60 rounders and an MK18 and a shit ton of bullets just in case. Um, I also brought most of the keys, I have every key for YBL besides Gen 2. Um, but you won't need any keys for clearing this out, I will just show an approach. Um, where you don't need any keys. There is one key that can help you with clearing out the bunker because it will skip most of the clearing on the upper area and that's the YBL main key which I'm going to show you the location for in this video as well. I'm just not going to utilize it and I'm just going to show you what it does towards the end of the video. So yeah, when clearing YBL you want to come through this hole right here and there can be AI, close right and close left, uh, but there doesn't seem to be any AI just right now. So you want to be careful when peeking this corner because there can be AI just around here as well. When crossing across you will trigger the AI as well. Okay, so this door is already opened. Okay, so we killed one. There can be AI inside here now. So you want to be careful with that. We don't see any but we can see one on the back of the building. Which I almost missed actually. But he was like just around the corner. And now you want to watch out because the other AI will try to push you. As you can see, there's one already. He's down. Okay, so I can't see that guy at all. So we're just going to painkiller up real quick so we don't have the heartbeat. Because if you get hit um, and you have like taken like some damage, then your heart will start beating and then you might get like, uh, you might miss like AI. Alright, so we're in this building right here. The only door they can come through is that over there. So we're just going to fix our bleed real quick. And I think I can hear one pushing actually. Yeah. There's one pushing. I think he went past already. Okay, now he's behind me I think. Which is kind of weird for the audio part, but it's okay. He might be outside the wall or below as well. So this is the location for the YBL main key. If we open this up, we can actually go down into the bunker immediately. Like as you can see, I'm not going to kill this AI. As I said, I'm not going to use this key uh, or I'm not going to abuse it. Let's say it like that because I already opened the door, but I'm not going to use it for this um, showcase. All my wounds are fixed as well, which is nice. Okay. I don't see any AI anymore. So we're going to go back because I can hear something around here still. And what you want to do now is clear out this guy, clear out the guys pushing you as well. Okay, so they're kind of shooting me through bushes. You want to be careful and not overswing this like I just did, like I overswung there. You shouldn't do that when clearing this. Okay, I wanted to heal, but I can still hear the AI stepping around. Alright, so there's AI talking below me as well. Okay, so I just saw that one guy who was spraying me, so I'm just going to cross real quick over here. And then I want to heal. If you want to be super safe with healing, you could go through the hole back out again. Um, but I don't think it's necessary right now, because I can't hear any steps in front of me. So when peeking this corner, you want to be real careful, since there's a lot of bushes once again. You just want to like wiggle peek this real quick. And then check if you can see AI on the area in front. Just like that, you kill two more guards. Okay, so there's one more running around there. You can kill him as well. Okay, so you just want to go back and forth. It's kind of similar to the Blue Lagoon area, where you have like AI shooting you through bushes up here. Um, and you want to avoid getting shot through bushes like I did before on that one peak that I did, where I almost got fried. You want to avoid that, of course. So we're going to cross back to this fence here. Okay. So I'm not sure right now if this if these steps are below me or if they're up here. I'm not too sure about that. So I'm just going to carefully re-clear this, especially because I opened this door and AI can come up here sometimes. They rarely do that though. Okay. So we cleared like most of the upper part and it seems like the most like most of the AI is uh, on the ground below or like on the floor below. Okay, so you want to wiggle peek this again. I can see one guard already. You want to take him out of his misery. And there's one more. You want to take him out as well. Just be careful here. If you need to, you can reload. You might have only 30 rounders. So take your time with peeking as well. 
Okay, so I don't see any AI anymore here. Um, this is a fishy part about this run, actually. I'm going to pack my max real quick, just in case. Yeah, there was one more shooting me through a bush. Alright. And I can't seem to see that guy like at all. So what I'm going to do once again, oh, you can you can obviously loot these boxes like they can all spawn like nades and stuff on top of the barrels as well. And sometimes those nades can come in clutch if you really need them. If the AI is like hiding in bushes, you can just try to nade the AI. I don't really see any AI though. I don't see that Mosin guy that was shooting me. That's like my only concern why I'm going up here right now. I just want to make sure that he's not like farming me in my back or something okay you can go for taps of course as well like i'm just spraying away right now um just because i'm like kind of used to eft if you sometimes try to tap the ai they will just decide to uh, go ham on you turn around and one tap you so that's why i'm spraying like you can save money on the bullets sure but like is it worth your life sometimes? I don't think so. Especially in this game. I am uh, from EU and I'm playing US server most of the time. Just for the reason that EU servers are just not stable enough right now. Like you get a lot of rubber banding, server crashes and all that. So I would recommend you to play on US as well if you get that. You could do some server hopping as well though. Like if you just change servers back and forth. You will probably get a good server. So we are back on this place. Uh, where I said it's fishy. Because as you can see there's a lot of thick bushes to our left. But we cleared like 8 guards here. So I think we should be fine. There can be AI around that building. So what you want to do is. You see that baton brick. You want to run over there real quick. There you go. Check the house in front. There's no AI. There can be AI to our left though. And that's where we are, we are headed as well. So you just want to carefully clear the close angle. Where we don't see AI. And then we are going to enter the bunker area itself. Uh, just like that, we're inside. Just going to check my mag. I'm not fully loaded on this one, so I'm just going to do that. And now we can go down. Don't worry about the parts, uh, like the, the other parts outside. We're going to clear them later on as well. So when coming in here, there's like a ton of doors and a ton of angles. You want to clear them all one by one. You don't want to rush anything. You don't want to rush like through rooms without clearing like your door. Because sometimes AI, like usually the AI talks, but sometimes the AI won't talk and they will just stand in like some weird room and then you won't know that they are there and then they will kill you if you just run past them. So I'm just going to clear the staircase here because there's usually one AI as you can see on the staircase. And this right here, now we know about this AI because there was one, we saw that. This is the area where the YBL main key is coming from. So when we run through this here, and go up the stairs. Uh, this is the YBL main door. That we can open up now as well. As you see. And yeah. Uh, that's that's why I said like this is a shortcut. You can save some time on coming down here. Um, but if, you, if you're if you like farming for keys for example. Or something like that. Then you won't really care anyways. Because you want to clear like most of the AI. And a lot of people. Or a lot of you guys won't have the YBL main key immediately anyways. Uh, but if you start farming for the YBL gen key, for example, you will stumble up on the uh, main key at one point. So one tip I have is you can loot this box right here. There is like uh, scoped up guns or scopes in general inside of that box. So you can make some profit or you just find the scope that you can use. So I rarely see AI in here, but I'm just making sure that there's none stuck inside. So I don't get clapped later on in my back because I just don't, I just don't like leaving angles uncleared. Okay, we can hear a lot of steps. Um, I, I would highly recommend you not to panic here. Because this area can be kind of claustrophobic. Um, with all the different angles that you would have to worry about. But most of the AI will be on the bottom floor. Like, there's not as much AI up here. Uh, most of them will be bottom floor. And you will just get, like, if you get, if the AI gets you to sprint up here, like, a lot. Then you can die from that, so... Um, just make sure to stay calm and clear every angle one by one. And like right now, I'm not sure where this AI is, so I'm just checking up again. And there is like one toilet room up here, I think as well, that I haven't cleared yet. You can just open this door. Uh, there can be AI behind this door sometimes as well. There isn't any right now though, so we're closing this door. Peeking here one more time, just to make sure that the guards on the outside don't come in. And now we are going to go to the to the like 
lowest level of this area where we need to be careful because there is a boss spawn down there um, and the boss is wearing a blue bandana and sometimes I don't know how what experience you had with bosses sometimes they will just one tap you randomly so you want to be careful okay I can't shoot right now my gun got bugged out or something I'm not sure what happened there so when coming down here you want to be careful just like I am with clearing your corners okay so we just unloaded a mag on those guys and we cleared like four of them which is really good we still want to be careful so what you want to do first is you want to come to this right side here there's one room and this room it seems like you don't really need to clear it but there can be AI here and this AI will come out and roam at one point as well so you just want to like make sure and like just clear this out just in case okay so this can be even more sus now because we have like multiple doors that we have to watch out for and i can hear steps on top i think as well i'm just not too sure right now if it's top or where those steps are so i'm just walking around making sure i don't get clapped in my back okay so that ai is in the wall i think is it i think it's in the wall like there's ai in the walls here as well you need to be aware of that i don't see any guards here it seems like the AI is in the wall, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out of the wall. So, okay. So, that guy can't hurt me. Might be the boss even stuck in the wall. Sometimes that happens, which is really annoying for that quest, but yeah. Okay, so we can clear this area back here now. This is the living in Burroughs room, by the way. So, you need to be careful. There can be AI in that room as well. Okay. So, we just came here and cleared all of this. Yeah, this AI is just running inside of the walls, I think. That's what I mean, like, you, this place can be really claustrophobic and you can get, like, sp spooked up on as well. Okay, so one guard came behind me or something. Okay, no, he's still in the walls. Like, this is really weird right now. This usually doesn't happen that bad. Okay, so when coming up here, you, you have this wooden room with a lot of quests inside of that as well. Um, there's, uh, there can be a boss spawn inside there as well. So you need to be careful clearing out the server room as well. Okay, so we didn't seem to find, like, the AI is just in the walls here, that's kind of crazy right now, there's a lot of AI in the walls, okay, so I'm just going to check, was this the boss, no it wasn't, this wasn't either, so the boss is either still up, or he's stuck inside the wall, uh, okay, just clearing this one more time, okay, and now we just walk down here real quick, Okay, there's no AI here. Now when turning this corner right here, there can be AI still. And this cell right here can have AI on the back of it as well. So you want to make sure to clear that out as well. And for now, it seems like we're fine. I'm just going to re-clear uh, the staircase because we killed one guard up here. And sometimes the AI will trigger out on that and they will just run up and look for you upstairs. Clearing this angle right here as well. Right, and it seems like for now, what when it comes to the bunker, we are mostly fine. There could be like one or two AI roaming around um, inside the walls or like upstairs. They could be moving and I could have missed them if they crouched past. So I'm going to show you some key locations. This is the Office 2 key. Whenever you open that, it's for the negotiator quest. You can come here for this quest. Um, I can still hear steps above me, which is crazy. This is the office one key. Um, I haven't really found, like, I don't think there's a quest here. Um, at least I don't remember if there's a quest, but this is the door location. Um, and then when we come to this room, this is like one of the most frustrating keys. It's the YBL gen key. And that key, I haven't found it myself yet. Um, I had a, like, a, not friend, but like a random guy that we were like messaging with another friend and he opened this door for us when we were doing this quest because he found the key actually so he got lucky and found it um, but yeah that was the YBL gen key location okay so that's it for now um, we're going to go up on the other side because there is the bedroom key upstairs which I wanted to show as well uh, just in case uh, if some of you are looking for the key locations as well um, Making sure we clear these corners. Making sure we clear this. And this should be the YBL bedroom key location. There you go. 
Um, what's really nice about this room is we have um, these green containers and as you can see first try I got a spectroscope from this uh, case which is kind of crazy because the spectroscope is 2k and especially for like a starter location like this because I would like rate this as a starter location you can get really good loot from these containers like you can get armors from them as well as you can see you can get nades um, there's also like this smaller box right here which gives you rigs or like armors most of the time and yeah that's it for this room you can grab a lot of nades so whenever you find a bedroom key it's a really good um, loot location I haven't really found like there is no quest for this since I'm like I'm basically done with questing there's two quests left I think there might be more behind this quest but I don't think so and then not the other quest is like for the big container already so I think I'm done for most of it there's another box here so you can grab some loot from this location for sure all right so we're going to clear out the back side of this real quick just to make sure so we didn't find the boss that's uh, because he's stuck in the walls uh, or behind the YBL gen key because the YBL gen key can have AI behind it like there can be one or two AI that spawn behi behind the fucking door like the AI that spawns behind the walls here which is kind of nuts to be honest but yeah okay so whenever you clear the bunker so now we cleared out everything we cleared on bottom floor we clear like my floor minus two and floor minus one um, and still we still want to farm more AI uh, you can, like, if you're done with the bunker and you only needed to kill boss and you kill the boss, you can go out the way we came from. Like, you can just go up the ramp and run around the right side. Or if you have the main key, just use the main key. But if you want to farm all of the AI, you want to come through this back hallway here. Kill the AI here. Like, um, this hall right here can have AI as well. Uh, but this back hall as well. Uh, so I usually come on the back side and just clear out the back and then I'm coming here and I can see everything after that. So I don't really have to worry again about some ways on my back uh, when doing it like this. All right, I'm just checking for keys once again since I don't have the YBL gen key. I want to complete my key collection. So when I'm coming out here, there is usually AI on this courtyard right here. There isn't any right now though. So we're just checking for some AI. They can be up there as well. Um, but what you want to do or what I usually do is like I'm clearing it out this way here I'm just walking up here with this container. So you have some cover as well and I don't see any AI right now here and when you peek here you can see there's AI Okay, so I couldn't shoot through that for some reason, uh, but there can be multiple AI to the left um, here So you what you want to do is walk up this gate and freely in this corner. Okay, there's a shotgun guy in this bush somewhere which I can't seem to see right now. Oh, that's him. Okay, I just saw like, there's one more. Oh, he didn't die, that's why. I'm just going to nade him real quick. Oh, I can see him already. Okay, there you go. He died either from the nade or the shots. So when you come out here, you wanna be really careful about these bushes, just wiggle peek this, and then usually you will get them to aggro. So since I naded as well, there can be still AI up on top uh, and they will, come or like most of the AI will start roaming after nades or they can start roaming with nades depending on how close the nade was so what I usually do is I just come up here and check my angles real quick one more time since we haven't looted these bodies as well um, just because of the AI down there like if they are in the bushes and you're up here and I'm using DLSS right now so my screen is not the clearest I would say uh, so you need to be careful when picking these bushes sometimes uh, usually there is no AI like back here. I haven't seen any AI so far. They can get aggroed here So if you have people here, um, they can come here of course, but usually they don't and um, What I'm just doing is just clearing this building real quick So we don't have anything behind us when we're going to loot the bodies now so far um, What I've tracked I have heard two AI talking and I think both of them are in the walls below I think one is the boss uh, that spawned but he is inside the walls or behind the YBL gen key. So what you want what what you want to do is you don't want to freak out like you can clear your back from time to times uh, because the AI can unglitch themselves like they can get out of the wall sometimes. You will just have like random AI <laughs> starting to walk in your room through a wall or something that happened to me multiple times. But um, you don't have to be too paranoid about it. You can just let them yap. If you're sure that you cleared like most of the area, then you should be fine on this. 
Alright, so we found the GNS GSSH, that, that's the best headset in the game, because it boosts the volume quite a lot, so we grab that. Okay, I'm not too sure if I kill um, more AI in these bushes, so I'm just going to loot away for now. Like, it's kind of hard to keep track uh, on these kills, um, but this is the safest way so you won't die. You can obviously try to go for the loot up here uh, faster, like, if you want to do... Uh, if you want to do that, you can clear out, like, before you run down the ramp, what you can do is run to that building and clear out the whole courtyard, and then you can insta-loot all the AI, but usually usually I don't bother. I usually go for the bunker instantly, and yeah. Alright, so that's most of the AI I dealt with, um, besides the two that are kind of, like, glitched in the ground or something. Yeah, we still want to be kind of careful, but if there would have been more AI, they would have probably screamed at us right now. So we just want to check this body roll here. And there was like one more somewhere that I killed, but I can't remember exactly where I killed him. So I'm probably just... Oh yeah, he was like close here somewhere, right? It's like somewhere around in these bushes. Yeah, there you go. No keys on them, that's kind of unlucky, but you can still go for the loot. And I'm going to show you... Um, Another entrance that you can use for the YBL bunker. Uh, we came from Lima 2. There's uh, the Lima 1 entry point as well. Uh, you can entry from that side as well. You will not clear the courtyard first in that case. Uh, because you will um, clear it from uh, a secret entrance. But what you can do is you can go up here on this place. And you can kill all the AI in the courtyard and go to the entrance of the bunker right here. That's also possible. I think this is the only way to vault in from this side. So make sure to remember this place. It can help you out in some PvP uh, situations probably as well. But the sequence, uh, or like both secret entrance, is up here. All you want to do is come to this cage-like thing right here. And then all you want to do is just vault. Then crouch down and then you're inside the bunker as well, uh, from the secret entrance. I haven't seen any AI up here yet, like, um, unless, unless you drop, um, you will not see any AI, I think. Um, at least I didn't. And this room right here is the YBL storage key. Like, if I open it, it's the Corridor D storage room key. Friends have told me that there can be AI spawns behind this door, but I haven't seen any. And uh, right now neither. As you can see, this room is also really good for looting. You have two bigger boxes that you can loot. Just gonna check them right now. I mean, RK2 is not the worst group. 5 for 5 PP ammo isn't bad either for the beginning. And as you see, we found another CQ with a Spectre. So you made like 4k on the scopes alone. Which is kind of crazy, honestly. And yeah, you can loot this equipment box. Uh, we found the Panzer armor. It isn't too bad. It's level 3. Only 3 plus is better. So especially in the beginning, you might want to grab that. Also backpacks around here. But if you don't, like, if you have that key, obviously, like, YBL, bu the bunker area is, is kind of key heavy. You can drop through this hole as well. I'm going to show you in a second where you will come out, because uh, we will take the normal way. There you go. Like, this is a buddy for a quest as well. We're just going to come here. And then, as you can see, you can just drop down here. And then when you're down here, this is the puddle for one quest as well. We can hear the AI in the wall again. Which is fine, because we know now. And then we're in the ground floor of the bunker again. And um, that's it, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, when you when you drop through the storage room, you will come out here. Uh, you will drop through this hole right here. And that's basically all of the bunker cleared out. And I think I showed uh, all of the key locations as well that you can grab. So, yeah. That's it for the YBL bunker. Uh, I hope this guide helped some of you guys clear it out. Um, as I said, um, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Don't freak out if you hear like all the AI running around and you can't tell what floor they're on. Just make sure to clear your corners. You can't close doors because AI, when they open doors, they will make audio for you. So you will know where the AI is exactly. So don't freak out. Uh, just stay calm. And try to clear every room one by one and then you should be fine on this location and you will not struggle ever again with the YBL area. And that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this clearing guide as well. And see you on the next part.